of listening. Do you think there's a lot of stuff in fruits and vegetables that even science hasn't understood yet? See, when you look at science, it is an extreme saying, don't eat fruits. It's simple carbs. You're putting on weight. Those are for people who are only focused on weight loss. But to date, every literature shows the massive potential of micronutrients in different fruits. So starting off with the berry family, the most powerful, but that doesn't make papaya any less. So these are polyphenols, flavonoids, anthocyanins, all of these work at a genetic level in your body, in prevention, in recoveries, you name it, cancers, Alzheimer's, whatever. Micronutrients, which no other food has. Mm. Now vegetables have them, but in a different form than fruits, which is why we need balance. Gosh. Which is why a nutraceutical can never replace a fruit. Mm. It can never replace a particular vegetable. Because these polyphenols and flavonoids, you can isolate them. But in a fruit, okay, it's, it's a living organism until it's, it's plucked off. It's working with its own intelligence mm. to grow. No, I, I completely hear you. I also want to highlight uh, packaged fruit juices. I think a lot of people kind of know the advantages of consuming fruits and vegetables and their version of that is, oh, I'm just going to consume this packaged fruit yeah. juice. Do you have anything to say about the juices we yeah. get in Tetra Packs? It's a waste of money and you're going to mess <laughs> up your metabolic health. Right <laughs> up front. No matter, and I don't want to put down companies, there's no requirement to do that. But at some point in life, you know, I call it compassion at a company level. Hmm. If I was running a company and I am today and I have a certain amount of success, I need to start compassionately thinking about whether parts of my company are driving things that can sustain health, longevity, and the future generations. Mm. The point is fruit juice is absolutely useless. There's enough of science. Number one, when you juice the fruit, you've broken down most of the nutrients, the fiber. So you're having a glass of sugar, literally. Even if it's sugar-free juice, it's a glass of sugar. It's a simple. If, so if I give a diabetic uh, a bowl of papaya, they are going to spike their levels, even if they eat it. Because it's a simple carb. It is. That's why you cut down fruits with a diabetic. You don't, you don't have to stop it, but you cut it down. Now, a fruit juice is just more fruit broken down, the fiber. In the heated process of breaking it into a juice, you're denaturing the vitamins. So literally, you're just getting something sweet that's going to make you hungry faster. Mm. Now, I would use a fruit juice freshly made for certain patients who are end stage, they, you know, colorectal cancer, the guts removed, you know, you need some amount of energy going into them. So there is a place for it. But the youth is absolute waste of money and waste of good metabolic health. So my question was only about the Tetra Packs, you know, that people consume and we've been consuming for decades now. Yeah. But you're also talking about fresh fruit juice. Even if you make it, you're denaturing it in your own making process. Maybe you don't have the preservatives in it, mm. right? Okay. But you got to eat it. There's a, there's a certain science. When I chew a fruit, it's mixing with my saliva. I'm starting to absorb, you know, certain micronutrients. But, you know, it mixes and it goes down. But the point is when I make it into a juice, I'm just swallowing it and gulping it. And it's, mm. it's absolutely unnecessary. Mm. Like, I wouldn't even give it to kids. I would say, I would tell my daughter, I'll give you a bar of chocolate, but not a fruit juice. Yeah. Um, that way. You know, I've been overweight in my own life and I've had that whole educative process, fortunately, pretty early on in life. The one thing I've noticed about most overweight individuals who want to lose weight yeah. is that they have some kind of wrong ideas about what the right techniques are. Yeah. Like they think that this technique will make me lose weight. Like they equate weight loss with eating fruits. Again, it's a perception. Yeah. Because, oh, fruits are healthy. So I'm, I'm making a change in my lifestyle. I'm going to eat fruits. But mm. if you actually even eat more fruits, you can put on a lot of weight. Yeah. Even if you're not juicing it. Yeah. You know, people have this platter of fruits in the morning in front of them. No, you're, you're going to have a non-alcoholic fatty liver at some point if you don't stop that. Even if you're healthy, that's too much of fructose. Mm. And that's why nature's given it to you in a mono. One apple, that's your portion. Yep. You know, a handful of berries. Maybe a small bowl of papaya, but more fruit doesn't mean more health. Mm. If I want to have three fruits in a day, I can space it out, but I'm not going to have it at one time.